my loves, today I'm going to be showing you a really simple, quick makeup routine. So this is for those of you who simply don't have time. A lot of you I know are probably going back to school after being on winter break um, or back to class. Maybe you have new makeup products, maybe you have some gift cards to spend and you need some ideas of how to freshen your makeup routine, or honestly, you probably have most of these things already. I'm going to be showing you how to do a pretty flawless face. Um, my favorite products to use when I'm doing kind of more minimal slash fast makeup. But I'm also going to be showing you, so if you don't have 15 minutes to get ready, um, how to quicken the process. But also, if you do have more than that, um, a few extra steps that you could add in to make it a little bit more snazzy. This is a really beautiful look. I think it's perfect and fresh faced and great for going back to school. So if you want to see how I did it, then just stay tuned. So starting off with a clean, moisturized face, we're going to go straight into our foundation. Today I'm going to be using the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint. What I love so much about this is you're getting a nice matte finish from a tinted moisturizer style product that also has just a ton of coverage. It's kind of like a wonder product and honestly, if you're looking for an inexpensive alternative, I really like the Rimmel Matte BB Cream but nothing rivals this in terms of the um, product itself as well as the coverage that it gives. I just love it. And I'm not really speeding this process up, so you can see it just blends well. You get such a flawless finish with it, but if you do have a little bit of additional time, going in with a second coat of this is really just gonna help to improve the coverage that you're getting, obviously. It is a very buildable product, but you can't get too cakey with it. It's hard to get cakey with this product. So you can see here, I'm adding an additional layer. I'm really taking my time to blend and make sure that this looks like I just naturally kind of have flawless skin. Now under those eyes and on the lids, I'm going to be using the Salmon Tinted Concealer from Maybelline that really helps to brighten those dark circles. I'm starting off with that, then moving into a separate concealer, and you can see I'm not concealing anywhere else in my face. Doing the upside down triangle under the eyes and highlighting with a lighter toned concealer than your natural skin tone really does help to look like you have more coverage than you actually do. So you're not concealing all over the face. You're not concealing any specific area under, except, you know, under the eyes. Um, but it really is helping to just make you look more fresh faced, more awake and add to this look. So you can see here, I'm blending it in with a damp um, sponge or a beauty blender. Then I'm going to prime my lids. Even though we're not really doing eyeshadow, I like to do this step because it helps everything not to crease. With my favorite powder from Rimmel, and this gives so much coverage, but it is also light and it doesn't make you look, again, cakey. So I'm setting under the eyes, and you'll see here I'm going on top of the lids to make sure that concealer and primer doesn't crinkle and crease, and then I'm also going everywhere else where I kind of put down a little bit of extra product. Moving into bronzer, I feel like the camera and my lighting is making this look a tiny bit harsher than it is, um, but I'm just going in with a little bit of NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in the color Sunny. It's so inexpensive and it's just a great color. So you can see here, I'm dusting this under the hollows of the cheeks, on the temples, just where I feel like I want a little bit more number one depth and number two just color. It makes me look more awake, makes me look more sculpted. And then to make it a little bit sharper, I'm using a little bit of my face powder on a kabuki brush. Then I am taking that bronzer on a fluffy brush and I'm dusting that into the crease of my eyelid. And doing this is going to help give definition without going overboard. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm also going to use the bronzer down the sides of the nose and this is just for a little bit of extra contour. You don't have to do this step. I just like how it looks and I think it makes me look a bit more balanced, but it doesn't take long and you know, I just thought I'd throw it in there. I'm taking NARS Orgasm Blush because it is so beautiful. And the reason I'm recommending this is if you use this blush, I genuinely feel like you don't need an additional highlight. It's so, so, so luminous on the skin and it just makes you look alive. I'm going to take a little bit of bronzer on my bronzer brush. I didn't really add any more product. I just sort of used what was left and I kind of blended everything together. Now I am highlighting here on the tops of the cheekbones. I'll also take this down the nose and on the cupid's bow and between the eyebrows. 
Of course, you don't have to do this. It is an additional step, but I'm doing it here to give myself more life. Now it is time for those brows. So I'm putting a lighter brow powder on the inner portions of my brows. I think the brows really help you look more alive and more awake. And if you have no time, honestly, you could just use like a tinted brow gel, but I'm putting the lighter powder on the inner corners and then the darker powder in this little palette on the outer corners of my brows. To give my makeup a little bit of extra hold and just to make it look more natural, I'm using a bit of my favorite NYX Dewy Setting Spray. Then I'm going to curl my little eyelashes and I'm going to apply a coat of mascara. This is really going to depend on how much time you have. So I like to have big lashes all the time. I'm doing one coat of mascara, I'll move to the other eye, then you'll see here I'll move back to my first eye. And it's a perfect way to build on your mascara because you have a little bit of time to dry, but not too much. And honestly, I typically do like three coats. You can just do one. It depends on the time that you have and your preference. And then if you have a little bit of extra time, you can always add a little bit of mascara to those lower lashes as well. It makes your eyes look more open. Then a really great tip, honestly, if you don't have much time and you don't really want to fool around with your lips, is to redefine them with a Q-tip. And you saw what I was doing there. I just sort of went on the perimeters of my lips and redefined them. But to do that even more so, I'm taking a little bit of lip liner here. And this is, of course, optional. You could just do the Q-tip. But I really like to have a defined lip line. So I'm using the lip liner and then I'm going on top of it with a lipstick from MAC. And this is just an easy nude that as it fades won't look too dramatic. Then I'm going to clean up the outer corners with that Q-tip once again. This has no moisture on it, it's just a dry Q-tip. And then I'm going to highlight the Cupid's bow, again an extra step, but it really does add some life to the look. Then you'll see here, this is one of those extra steps I told you about. I'm adding a little bit of brown eyeshadow as liner to make my lashes look thicker. And then the look is completely done. I really, really hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, I love you. I will see you in the next video. Bye.